I just value my respect of anything. Yeah. Period. So you ain't go to do violence with Honey K. Got him. Hello, man. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait. Money equals power. Money equals power. Yo, if you have money, you can do anything you want to do. You could turn your wildest fantasies into a reality. She started with all that uplifting sister soldier. Book, and as soon as money came into play, she had to think about it. Would you let a n in Dubai sh on your chest for $100,000? I remember when I was younger, I used to say, man, I'll eat Oprah Winfrey pussy for a cool million. A cool million. You feel me? Shit, 500000 <laughs> You feel me? I eat Oprah box of about 500000 I used to say that. So me looking at this video, I'm like, damn, what's the difference? Now, that's the difference. <laughs> it's the difference. I ain't laying Oprah shit on my chest for no, no million. I wouldn't feel right. Because I remember I read something about like Instagram models when they went to Dubai. And like the type of things that was going on. And then I came across this video. Dude did his research. And he found every little thing that happens in Dubai. When your favorite Instagram model goes over there. We've all found ourselves stalking Instagram models and just drooling over their extravagant lifestyles. While all those trips to Dubai, shopping trips and lavish dine-outs will have us cursing the stars, the reality of this way of life will absolutely shock you. In today's video, we'll be talking about the Instagram models of Dubai, particularly ones doing prostitution. You'll find out some pretty dark stuff. What goes on exactly? We open up Instagram to see these models posing with their amazing beach bodies and going on these expensive shopping sprees and trips. You can see them wearing Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and lots of designer wear. The question that pops up is, how can they afford all of that? You would expect brand deals and advertisements, but neither of those pay enough to finance this way of life. You'll be shocked to know that these models don't pay for the trips or the clothes. They have sugar daddies lined up in their DMs who are ready to pay to fly them in. Maybe it's because I'm not rich. Maybe it's because I don't have all that type of money. I can't be nobody's sugar daddy. I can't be with somebody or be around somebody that's only with me because I'm sponsoring their lifestyle. That means that when we have sex, it's not genuine. Maybe this is my broke ass talking. But my pride would not allow me. But then again, bro, you know, that amount of money, you wait for that amount of money. Money make her. <laughs> you feel me? So let me stop. Let me... They pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to spend a night with them. From insider reports, most of this stuff goes on in the UAE and Dubai. Hotels that are meant for princes have staff that have to sign non disclosure agreements. Doing so prevents the staff from ratting out on the private life of the Instagram models or the life of the princes, which is why you won't find a lot of people talking about it. Imagine doing room service and you walk in on somebody taking a number two on another person's chest on top of the bed, and then you still got to change the sheets later on in the day. But the truth comes out somehow. There have been reports of Instagram models being paid to sleep with underage princes. Now that's extremely shocking and disturbing, as these women do everything and anything they can to get the bag and risk their lives in the process. There have even been reports of influencers or models that have made $200,000 in cash and had to carry it back to their state. You're not getting past customs with no $200,000 in cash. I'm just letting you know right now. Customs is not having that. That's getting confiscated. Ain't no way somebody gonna believe that I'm $200,000 for that. You can't even tell customs somebody paid you $200,000 for that. Because now, you are an international prostitute. That might be worse than walking the strips on Vegas selling, bro, so... But because of their profession and inability to explain where the money even came from, they had to give it... Give Some people wake up and check their phones. Check the weather, check the news all up to customs. So everything has to be online these days to secure payments and keep anonymity in the process, like payments in Bitcoin, Ethereum, or other cryptocurrencies. Dubai acts as the main hub of these activities as the city provides just the right hotels. 
Additionally, Dubai's own princes can also be found partaking in these questionable arrangements. Some of these Arab princes spend more than what you would consider normal, as they spend over 200,000 euros per model for a visit. An Instagram influencer and model by the name of Lozado Gonzalez was tricked into dating and sleeping with a rich Arab man. And if things couldn't get any worse, she also had to sleep with his younger 13-year-old brother. I am a mountain. I am a tall tree. Oh, I am a swift wind. Sweeping the country. Hey, man. Shout out to my boy R. Kelly doing that 30 years, man. You should have went to Dubai, my boy. Every Instagram model makes at least five visits per year to Dubai. God knows how much remains covered. An insider from the website known by the name First Man stated that every single rich guy would think of heading to Dubai if they wanted to let off some steam. Dubai's like the Vegas of the UAE, except it's much worse in comparison. There's a lot of things in Dubai that go unnoticed and are even partying, and the occasional woo-hooing is much more common than you think among these Instagram models. One man going by the pseudonym First Man on Medium tracked their activities for over three months. They did all the math for you and came to the conclusion that whoever she was going with was spending an average of 20,000 euros on her every month. She traveled to LA, Marrakesh, Bali, and Amsterdam, all the while she was living in Dubai. This did not include the living costs, her daily and monthly expenses, her costs of maintenance that she spent. If we look at the brand deals that she makes, she basically should have zero savings in the bank, which makes everything all the more interesting as that means someone's definitely paying for her, or she's earning a lot more than we can imagine. One of these Instagram models took the bold step and came forward with her story in an interview, anonymously published on Lib Reddit. You'll be surprised by what she had to say about what goes on behind the scenes. She kept her identity anonymous due to personal reasons and privacy concerns. She was an Instagram model that had about 800,000 followers and was able to land many gigs in LA and California due to a few managers that she worked with. She said that she got countless messages from solicitors on a daily basis. She said that she had over 10,000 unopened DMs that she had her editors and managers go through, but she opened up the important ones. When asked about how many of these stories were true, she said almost all of them were true. She said a sheik one day DM'd her, and she was surprised that he even was the real deal or not. After making some rapport and going back and forth with him, he finally got to the point with her and stated that he was a sheik that wanted to invite her over to a party that needed to end with a happy ending, if you get what we mean. She took the experience at face value and thought he was some random dude that was pranking her. But she finally FaceTimed him and was convinced. Later, she met one of her managers over in LA, and he offered her a lot of cash to make her comfortable. She then accepted his offer and went to participate in an inappropriate party. She had parties on days two and three, and privately attended to the sheik in question on the fourth day. Afterwards, it was free reign for her as she was paid in millions and went on a shopping spree with the sheik's credit cards. And that's where these models pose and take their exorbitant modeling pictures showing off their glamorous lifestyles. The Instagram model made a ton of money without any problems and went home after a happy time where she spent time with the guy she's dating. Tama, I just caught that. She went back home and spent time with the guy she's dating? So she went to Dubai, get at you. All types of weird stuff probably happened over there. Probably got shitted on her chest too. And came back home to her boyfriend? Let me ask y'all a question. Would you send your girlfriend to Dubai to make $500,000? Please, answer me that. We've also heard some disgusting stories surface when it comes to Instagram influencers traveling as escorts to Dubai. We've heard stories about people defecating or urinating on Instagram models as well, which is incredibly disgusting. There are also stories about Instagram models going on cruises with the richest of the rich on yachts. These private yachts spend weeks and months offshore and act as private communities with all the luxuries that the world has to offer. Waiters, staff, and attendants on deck have talked about yacht parties that have also gone horribly wrong. 
An Instagram model, which will remain unnamed due to the circumstances of her death, was on a private yacht of some influential billionaire figure which was not mentioned in the article. She was going to die of a drug overdose and there was nothing that the passengers on deck could do about it. She called before it happened to talk to her family and died two hours later. There's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes that are not worth mentioning at all. Taking things a bit too far. When a sheik pays 30000 to a model for her services, he can basically ask her to do anything to satisfy his fetishes. Hey, I just gave you $30,000. Go ahead and camel off right quick. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Bro, I wouldn't be surprised if he's over there asking them to do to the camels too, bro. I promise you. If in your mind you feel as though one of your fantasies is to, to doodle on a beautiful woman's chest, I'm not surprised if you decide to put your camel on too. Shockingly, some of these fetishes will leave you cringing. A few years ago, a website by the name of Tag the Sponsor shed light on these Instagram models. Pictures of these girls doing the most obscene stuff came to the surface. There were instances of rich Dubais pooping on these girls for pleasure. Another outrageous one was where a sheik had one model satisfy his camel. What'd I say? I told y'all! 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 I'm yo, my, I done scared my son. I'm okay. I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> no, you're talking to you through the phone. Nobody, nobody. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I told y'all the camel was getting action too, man. I told y'all the camels was getting action too. There's also one where another prince had an influencer place a live salmon where the sun doesn't shine. Of course, the girls are fairly compensated for their services. And that's all that we could fit into today's video. Listen, man. Yes, yes, listen. <laughs> listen, man. Get your money. Get your money and get your dollar. Get your dollar, that's what I'm saying. But have some dignity. Have the diggers. Have some dignity about yourself. Get your money, but have some dignity, okay? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. That's, that's how I'm going to end the video. Get your money, but have some dignity. Yeah, have dignity. <laughs>